What's up guys, Dreamcast Guy here. Haven't been making videos much lately because I've been very sick. You can still hear the last of it in my voice. Uh, today I'm making a video. I ordered a Sega Nomad off Amazon and it just came, so I figured I'd just do a little unwrapping video. So I paid a uh, hundred dollars total for this because the average going rate for a Sega Nomad is, is between 60 and 75 if you're buying it on like a site like Amazon or eBay. But I found one that was pretty much pristine condition. No box or anything. Oh, oh it's flawless. He also included a copy of Sonic 2, which he shipped in there. I don't know if that was the best idea. I now have like seven copies of Sonic 2, but anybody who collects Sega games has that problem. You can see the screen is pretty much perfect condition. Oh, wow. Uh, let's see, this was also supposed to include a power cord. So what I figured I would do is, oh, damn it. He put on that stupid type of one of these things that you can only cut with a very sharp knife, which of course I don't have next to my bed because I'm not suicidal. Let's see if I can't just unwrap this with good old fashioned ingenuity. It was very entertaining, I'm sure. I promise, I promise. Let's get this unwrapped. It was delicately, there we go. I'm trying to unwrap this delicately because I did pay a lot of money for it, but at the same time swiftly because I want to play with my goddamn toy. There we go. Okay, I now have enough room. Whoops. There we go. I've got a nice extension cord set up just for this video. So, unplug that space heater, even though it is fucking cold as shit. Okay. So, I'm going to be playing Pure Solar just to try it out. This is one game that people don't really talk about uh, just because it was a, a later print. But uh, if you have. Any sort of love for old school RPGs, either like the Final Fantasy 2, 4, 6, any of the older Dragon Warriors, any of the old fantasy stars like 1 through 4. This is a Sega Genesis game made a little bit later. I think it came out in 2010. Uh, and the HD remake of this comes out on the Sega Dreamcast, Xbox 360, and PS3 uh, in March. So be sure to keep an eye on that. And anyways, this is what people don't talk about, is that this actually works on the Nomad. So I am now going to be able to play this in the break room at work. Like any good, bad coworker. Oh man. You have no idea how many years I've wanted a Nomad. Let's see if we can't get a nice angle. Here we go. Uh, power. There's AV out. There's the phone. Oh, brightness. There we go. Let's turn, turn up the volume. The screen is really clear. It's got the six buttons. A single mono speaker, which isn't very good for a game like this that has such amazing music, especially the battle theme. But it's confirmed, does work. Continue. Oh, that's right. Oh, wow. It's Pure Solar and the Great Artex on the fucking Sega Nomad. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I'll wrap this up. I really need a rest. This has been Dreamcast Guy. Expect a Let's Play coming up of uh, Pure Solar. I'm wanting to do a full Let's Play on the Genesis so that when the HD version comes out, anybody who wants to use it for reference, because this... Copies of this game are about 120 bucks online, uh, so I want to have a strategy out there and a Let's Play uh, before all the HD Let's Plays come out. So feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and as always, keep dreaming.